go out of your fear, go of all your worries, go of all of your fears. Go out of your fears, go of all your worries, of all of your fears. Exit. Don't help yourself, no. E X I T. Exit. Hey, just, just, we're mad. He did say that we could stay. Yeah. Let's fucking stay. Let's go, bitch. Hey, he did say we could stay. He just told me we could stay. <laughs> He's a world famous Put her face in a fire. Dude, the best dogs are dumb as shit. I'm pretty convinced. She is actually really smart. I mean, she understands secret. Like well, it's the thing with stupid dogs, is they understand yeah, a lot, but like, they, they also, like, actually respond when you ask them to do something. Smart dogs are smart.
about right now. Why are you being a dick, dude? Because you remember it means Perhaps you have been lured in by the remains of size and industrialism of the great steel dragon. I know I have. Its shaky, screechy embrace, and I have found solace from a tumultuous youth, plagued with addiction, abuse, homelessness. The serpent snaked the land and brought me away with it, away from hurt and pain, at least for a short while, at least until the next town. That was way back before social media had its iron grip around everyone's throats, and we still lived in the moment, somewhat. Before this culture and the people that relied on it became overexposed, oversaturated, and watered down, the taste now more similar to a LaCroix that the once alcoholic drinks now, though they long for the saturated sweetness of a four logo. Cameras in everyone's pockets shows a picture of traveling in this way as the ultimate adventure. What they don't show are the moments in between where nobody expects anyone to be looking. And that's where we still exist and thrive, like cockroaches. And if we scurry into sight for a moment, surely we are to be crushed by a careless shoe. Can't beat them? I guess I'll join them. But at least this way you get a rare glimpse into the reality of the dirty kids. The dirty kid. The oogle. An insult thrown around by many, but when we self-identify this way, it is with a glorious fortitude. This is a title earned with years of hardship and commitment to an ideology of freedom no matter the cost. Because this is a life of freedom. It's true. Freedom from a job, but not from work. Freedom from society's expectations, but not society. Freedom that is fought for every day in the tasks that ensure our daily survival. Have you ever gone to sleep with no water and spent the night dreaming of a cold running water spigot? Have you ever had to count your change for just a cup of coffee? Or have you ever eaten food out of the dumpster, not just willingly, but feeling lucky to have found such an abundant food source? The dirty kid has. All this being said is not to elicit sympathy or pity, but hopefully you can understand it. The next time you see the person with the dog in the backpack walking through your downtown or sat with a cardboard sign playing music, perhaps you can treat them like an actual human being who is also living a complex human life experience. Just an idea. Now, as I age into the second half of my 20s, personally, I would feel foolish to continue to identify as any type of kid. I am an adult, and now I must leave behind the recklessness of youth. A once truly fearful creature I have now domesticated to the point where I reside in a cabin for most of the year, though even I cannot resist the call. Like a siren, the squeals and creaks and groans of the freight trains have seduced me yet again. This most recent excursion took me from Maine to New Orleans to Florida, and then back up to Maine. This was a journey that celebrated friendship and community, though a good part of it was spent in solitude. If there is anything worth celebrating, it's community. Though this is a community that has its problems, drama, fighting, etc., it is still one that is fiercely there for one another. The dirty kids will always have each other's backs. These people would die for one another, even if they've only just met. In a world where isolation and division are being coerced upon every single one of us, this fierce devotion must be protected. We must listen to each other. We are all that each other has. We must learn to apologize and forgive. I'll start. I am deeply sorry to anyone and everyone that I might have hurt or offended, especially on my last trip to New Orleans. Um, I am doing better now, though, and I'm sorry for when I wasn't. See? Try it sometime. Not any single one of us is special, for we are all profusely suffering. And we are all living our lives wishing we were suffering perhaps just a little bit less. Though I have aimlessly wandered through nomadic solitude, I have seldom been alone. Though I have worn holes in every garment I own, I have never been unintentionally bare. Though I have hungered filled with nothing but emptiness, I have always been full. 
Though it feels sometimes like every new day should be the last, I have lingered, still yet around. I sit back in the sun and throw my head back. Eyes closed, sun shining red through. I feel a smile on my face, though it is blank. To bask one final time in the warmth and glow and the freedom of being alive. A breeze from the momentum takes me across the land. I am at peace in this moment. There is no one in my way. My only desires must be met. Here we go again. Returning home now, tomorrow will be spent in my own bed, and I will I will dutifully welcome the frigid tendrils of winter that creep through the cracks in the door.